Have you never seen hair before? <laughs> he seemed astonished. Going, oh, it's hair on her head. <laughs> Uh, now, many, many sexy people have sat on our sofa over the years. Uh, but, Jude, I happen to know uh, who you think is the sexiest actress in the world. Because you told one of our researchers on the phone. You're going to embarrass me now. Go on, tell us. Well, I think Dame Judi Dench is... Uh, yeah? Really sexy. <laughs> Don't worry, Mila, we're getting to you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but Jude knows what he's talking about because he was voted sexiest man alive. Oh, dear. You were? Do you know, a friend of mine... Uh, there you are. A friend of mine... <laughs> oh, no! A friend of mine took that cover. That's when I'm about... I'm, I'm about 13 now, aren't I? <laughs> um, a friend of mine took that and had it printed on a toilet seat. <laughs> and it's now in a toilet. <laughs> Shows you what he thought of me. That's very... But is it in your toilet? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. That's good. Cool. <laughs> Functions. <laughs> James is using it at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, sex is man alive. Oh, no. Oh. What? No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Do I get an arm? I'll spare your blushes. Spare your oh, blushes. My. Oh, my. Sexiest woman alive. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's the Mmm. Why do we do this to ourselves? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but why are you smelling your finger to prove it? It just... <laughs> <laughs> I am so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you. <laughs> I liked it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, and this is great, so you look uh, at me on the cover of that magazine, but when you were in high school, isn't this true, that, like, you struggled to get dates when you were in high school? Or no, I wouldn't no, go oh. that far. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> they love me. Fine. <laughs> Wasn't um, there a teacher who kind of had to bully her son into asking you out? Oh, <laughs> God, Mike's going to hate this story. My, <laughs> yeah, I went to public school, like a normal school, but I also had a studio teacher on set. And uh, she made her son, <laughs> Michael Resnick, um, <laughs> take me to uh, like a spring formal because I never went to a school dance and I always wanted to and I think I was like a senior at the time and I was like I want to go to a dance and I was like come on take me and he was like no and I was like come on take me <laughs> he's like no <laughs> like literally and I was like all right you're taking me like we're done like you have to do this so she made her son take me what's his name Michael Michael Resnick Michael you must hate yourself now. <laughs> Boy. He's great. He's like a musician. He went to NYU. Like, he's fine. Yeah, but he's not dating you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> because now, I do think it's interesting, because uh, Dame Eileen Atkins tells a story about how Colin Farrell came knocking on her hotel room one night. Do you know this story? Have you heard her tell it? I do. Yes. So I just wonder, has it happened to you? No. <laughs> really? No, nobody's come knocking on my door. <laughs> <laughs> but I uh, hang around waiting. <laughs> 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 Oh. Well, uh, listen, it'd be lovely talking to you, but it is time for music. Uh, this man has turned losing a talent contest into massive success with sellout tours and three number one albums here singing his new single, Army of Two. Please welcome Mr. Ollie Moores! Yeah!